A YouTube chat GPT prompt helper, mainly for myself, but I might put it out eventually. It's super simple. I might add stuff to it uh, also, but this it will just help me on my YouTube channel and maybe eventually help you guys out. The main thing that it does is you want to put your title in, in your description, and then you generate a prompt. So for example, this video didn't get really any views. I am going to go ahead and copy the title copy the description, which the description is the same, but still it should work. Go ahead and copy. Go into the program I made, paste the title, then you go over to description, paste the description, and then create or click generate prompt. You get the prompt there, copy text. Go back over to ChatGPT, paste it, go ahead and generate. And then it will give me a better title, description, hashtags, and keywords all set to go for YouTube. Well, I'm out and about, and I am trying to make some money with the apps, and I probably should have just went back to sleep. <laughs> I woke up, well, I, I, I went to bed a little later than usual last night, because I'm like, all right, I can go ahead and sleep in a bit, because it's Saturday. I woke up today, though, at 7 o'clock, and I'm like, all right, I better get going. I got to pick up my son at, you know... Uh, uh, really soon here so uh i got ready got going and all of a sudden i'm like wait it's a saturday today he doesn't have school oh my gosh so i was like screw it i'm already up might as well try to keep get going and uh yeah and then i stayed home for a little bit working on that app that i developed or that program which it's it'll work for me and i'll probably do a bunch to it to make it a lot better but yeah it's just basic it's just something for uh you know myself to be able to you know get better titles and descriptions it's instacart order when it popped up it said it was only uh 11 items for 65 dollars. so i went ahead and grabbed it i'm like oh that's a really good order so um after i went ahead and uh got it and it showed up in my uh instacart it was now at 28 items or unique items and like 38 total items, which is still really good for $65, but still it said 11 items and it was all messed up. So I was thinking maybe that means I'm going to get like double. I'm going to get like a hundred bucks or so because that happens. They add items, you get more money. Well, I went in the store, I hit start and it was the same exact amount. So I'm thinking maybe the customer just had a regular tip instead of like a percentage based tip but it was an odd amount to have that happen. And then she added a bunch of items randomly, but I, I don't think she would have done that. Either way, it still, it only took me a half an hour, maybe 35 minutes or so to make $66. Pretty happy with it. And I understand DoorDash's routes most of the time, but like this one was just like, why? I didn't get it. I had two orders. I went ahead and dropped off one as I was scanning her ID, um, another, one popped up so i went ahead and accepted that was well, it's not a terrible order and then they sent me another one after that which wasn't a terrible order making another double and then so i finished dropping off that order and they told they were going to have me go all the way back to safeway before delivering to the customer that was less than a mile away like seriously i think it took me two minutes to get there to drop off and it wasn't an apartment though, so it might've taken a while and tried to find parking and whatnot. But what I did was I made sure to call the customer. Luckily she answered. If she didn't, I was just gonna go ahead and go to Safeway first. But she answered. I went ahead and parked on the, the street, put on my flashers, quickly got her order and got on to the next one. But seriously, I, I did hey guys. So it's been like crazy busy and I would have posted another video by now, but for some reason, Wise cut is stuck at 50% again, so uh, I'm probably just gonna post it like it is, or I might post them together once they finish, maybe. Sometimes it takes like two hours, but it's been two hours, like I don't even know. Maybe it's gonna be a very long time. I don't know if it's because of the holiday or what. I didn't, well, that was another thing. I didn't even realize it was a holiday today. It's, uh, or, excuse me, not today, but you know, it's the holiday weekend for Labor Day. I was wondering why I was so busy. I was like, yeah, this is a pretty busy weekend. And then uh, somebody made a joke about, uh, yeah, it's, it could be that it's kind of like Labor Day or whatnot. And she's like, well, it is Labor Day. And I, I didn't, you know, I thought she was joking around or something. And then uh, somebody else was like, or I asked, I was like, why is it so busy today? And they were like, yeah, it's Labor Day or, you know, Labor Day weekend. It's like, 
other earnings reveal on the apps, the multi apps that I do. Uh, I only did DoorDash and Instacart today. Well, I te technically did uh, Uber Eats, but no orders came through. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and show off my earnings for a busy day. I didn't start till 11.30, then I went till nine, so about um, nine and a half hours. Anyways, this is DoorDash for today. And you can see my uh, weekly earnings and whatnot, or if you want uh, deposits and transfers, there's that if you want to see it. So $192.79 from uh, DoorDash, nothing on Uber Eats, and on Instacart, I hit $110.91. So in total, I made $303.70. There wasn't any cash tips today, that was... It, it's hard, it's, it's rare to get cash tips. Occasionally I get cash tips, but yesterday I got $5. So I am a delivery driver and that's what I do primarily besides, well, YouTube. I don't make much money from it anymore. I used to make a good amount from it, but I uh, got a copyright strike, deleted a bunch of videos, etc. Anyway, so now I primarily do uh, delivery, hoping to get YouTube going really good again eventually. But um, the one thing that I do know is eventually delivery driving and you know door dashers and uber eats drivers and etc will all be gone eventually once you know drones delivery becomes more popular and self-driving vehicles or you know uh, robotic vehicles or whatever you want to call them uh, that will be delivering food instead of me will all be a thing eventually. It's already starting to happen. And I know that my job or what I do is limited, which sucks, but it's gonna happen eventually. All right, so I'm getting going. Just got got my first order, uh, decent one. It's uh, Uber Eats for $25. This is a decent amount of distance. Uh, I gotta go, well, 10 miles total. Well, 10 miles there. Well, one mile here, nine miles there, nine miles back, so like 19 miles, something like that. Yeah, that sounds about right. Anyways, um, since it was Burger King, I went ahead and went with uh, some bacon, egg and cheese breakfast croissants with extra cheese. I love these things. Um, I'm a big fan of Burger King because the prices are actually pretty decent and the food's pretty good too. Uh, depends on the Burger King though. Because in, in the day, too, because sometimes it takes forever to get just a basic order, but uh, most of the time it's pretty good. Um, other than that, I also love Wendy's. Uh, Wendy's is another one because the prices are pretty good. You can still get a four for four. All right, I think I'm going to get like some kind of like backup or try to figure out, you know, quick edits. Well, I do, I do have an editor on my phone. But, um, and it does have auto captions. That's the main thing I worry about. I like to have the captions on the videos. Um, but, um, <clears throat> I liked it to be just like automatic and it also has like edits on with wise cut, but it's just like, it's been glitching out all day today and I haven't been able to post any more videos than the, the first three, which really bugs me. So I'm going to be trying to maybe find another, or well, just get another order or maybe not. Anyways, I got a message. Um, uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but yeah, so this doesn't happen where I can't get videos up when I want to be getting videos up and it's just taking forever because it's stuck at 50% again. And usually that doesn't do that until late at night. I'm uh, the only thing I can think is because it's the holiday weekend. Maybe they went on vacation. I got this order from this nice old lady. Technically it was a triple order. Well, two of them were from her, but they were the same exact order. So I realized that she accidentally double ordered. So I went ahead and called her up and I told her, I was like, I can go ahead and cancel for you if you need, or you can go ahead and cancel on your side. It'll save me some time. So I don't have to call support. And she's like, no, no, it's totally fine. I could use all the items. So go ahead and shop both and go ahead and get them. And I was like, are you sure? Because I really don't mind canceling for you. And she's like, no, no, it's all items that I could use and it's not a problem. And I was like, all right, well, that's awesome. So I shopped all the orders and it didn't take me very much time. I think it was like 45 minutes total. And I made $55 from the three orders. And I messaged her at the end. I'm like, are you sure none of these items need to go back? Um, are you sure that you're going to be able to use them all? And she messaged me and she's like, yeah, totally fine. 
And this is what she said. I don't know if you can read that really quick. I'm not going to read it all, but she did say, I'll use them, take care, and stay safe. I believe I did this. Oh my gosh. It was a $38 order. Six and a half miles is all. I don't remember what place it was at, but I was helping a customer on DoorDash. Um, I was trying to get her ID scanned, and it randomly popped up on my phone. So I just automatically declined it or hit the X on Uber Eats. And then uh, she saw my phone and she's like, that was a $38 order. And I'm like, holy crap, yeah, it was, whoops. She does DoorDash also. And uh, it was random uh, delivering to her. But uh, anyways, that was really frustrating. I'm really hoping that it pops back up, but I really doubt that it will since, um, yeah, I'm sure somebody else got the order. <sighs> Holy crap. I'm hoping that it just means that nobody else is in the area why it's that high and that at least on Uber Eats. So hopefully it'll pop back up. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes and see. Anyways, hey guys, I don't know if I'm going to upload this video or not um, as I have another one to upload, but I might do something with this. We'll see. I do want to go to bed soon, so I'm not even sure. I know the wise cut was kind of glitching out or whatnot. But it was a pretty uh, busy day. I wouldn't say it was as busy as uh, Saturday was because that was actually a really busy Saturday. Sundays are usually my best day, but not this Sunday. It was still pretty good. Um, I didn't really see like, lot, well, I saw a few, I, I did see a triple order at Safeway for the end of the night. And then there was some doubles, but nothing like great. And they did like send me this terrible double that I've just, oh, I just got so annoyed. <laughs> like 17 items it was only like two and a half miles but 17 freaking items for only 11 dollars and i'm just like uh, no thank you like if it wasn't busy i probably would have taken that no problem but it just kind of frustrated me anyways night